All right. So good afternoon, ladies and gents. Oh, wow. We literally have our um, amazing chat going off the chain right now. Over 140 participants on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Y'all, we are excited. We're excited. We get a chance to dive right on in talking that corporate talk. If you are a corporate America reject, go ahead and comment the word reject. That means you were fired, laid off, terminated, downsized, any of those beautiful words. We were rejected from corporate. All right. Go ahead and drop that in the chat. If you are a corporate dropout, like you figured it out on your own and you gave your job the walking papers, go ahead and drop the word dropout. So I am so fired up on today. I get a chance to introduce to you a lady that literally changed my life. She's the one that helped me understand how to really transfer those good old corporate American skills and talents into this business that has completely not only changed my life, you guys, but she is responsible for helping to change over 16,000 lives in this amazing company with nearly two decades of experience, you all, in this incredible industry. Guess what? She is what we call a six-star founding director. That means that she didn't wait for evidence. She created the evidence in the very opportunity that you're going to hear about on today. She sports a diamond ring. Could you imagine being fired from a $50,000 a year job to turning that to over $50,000 per month in a business that you decided to get started. I love it. So half a million dollar earner on her way to upgrading that ring to a diamond million dollar ring. I mean, she's helped so many others to hit that level of directorship, six figure earners many times over. And I want to know if we have the amazing 2022 MVP, Mrs. JP Watkins Mukes on with <laughs> us today. Yes, Director LaVonda Thornton Bush. Let me see if I can get my camera on. Um, I am so fired up today. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can turn that camera on. You know how we do. That's we're how on yeah. Let me make yeah. sure. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I am here. I am here. I am here. And we so have to get that camera working because I know <laughs> you are bringing it. Okay. Uh, girl i am here i am here i am here and so we uh there we go there we go there we go hey 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 girl all hey. right so i am jp Watkins, and i'm a corporate reject <laughs> you ask who's a reject who's a dropout rejected fired and so i want to give it back up to you because today it's freedom friday but every day for us is Freedom Friday. We don't have to TGIF, Director Bush, because Monday is the same as Wednesday. Wednesday is the same as Thursday. Sunday and Tuesday is the same for us because every day we wake up and we get to decide what we want to do. And I got a chance to see you as one of the most talented young ladies that I've ever met in my career. Take the same, we have the same path, the same story. When I met you, Director Bush, you were working in oil and gas, making six figures. And I remember you joining this business because as the travel queen, you just love to travel. And no, not thinking you needed a, a, to rely on this. It wasn't even, you know, the first thing in your mind. But I want everyone to understand that this young lady got positioned. You don't build your ark while it's raining. You build your ark while the sun is shining. And what happened as after, I think it was only four months into this opportunity, you were fired. Six, can you imagine six figures being snatched as a wife, as a mom, as, you know, uh, con con contributing to your household and, and thinking, I got to replace this income, but you did not fold. You, you began to fly. And this young lady is a quarter of a million dollar earner. Keep in mind, there are levels to six figures. So when people say, I make six figures, I'm like, well, what level are you on? The lower or the higher end? Because this young lady is over $250,000 per year. Where they were paying her 100,000, she doubled that. And she decided to be her own boss. Now with a team of approaching 3,000 families worldwide, you call the shots. 
uh, Director Bush as a four star on your five star run. So I'm just glad to be here um, to give inspiration and information to people who are just like us who may have been rejected or dropping out. Man, it is time to really free the people. I love how we came up with this statement. We were fired, but we didn't we cry about fired. it. We didn't cry about it. And I really want us to dive into that as we really tap into the blueprint. Can y'all say blueprint? Because a lot of people desire more, but you don't have the blueprint to actually get more. And so I would love, you know, for I'm following your lead today, coach, because we will have this as a conversation to help people get more. Yes. And I think that um, Director Bush, there's so many people who want freedom. And I see somebody in the chat saying, I need this freedom. And how many of you know you're overworked, underpaid? There's more month than money. Even though I was working full time for 20 years, okay? I know y'all thought I was 25, but I'm not. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and times two. But at the end of the day, we all want freedom, personal freedom, time freedom. But everybody told me, get a job. And so I want you to put in the chat, I don't need a job. I know that's, people are not ready to hear that. I don't need a job. And I need you to profess that. And I need you to say that. I need you to embrace it. You don't need a job. You just need to work. And there's a difference. Freedom means working at your own terms, at your own pace. And so I just want you to move on to design it because we're designing our ideal life. I don't need a job. Somebody that hired us determined how many hours we're making, you know, working, how much they will pay us. And Director Bush, people don't understand profits are better than wages. I don't want a wage because I know what that wage is weekly, monthly, yearly. I want a profit. So talk about designing it because most of us don't get to hold the pen. We're not the artist. We're not the engineer. We don't get to design it. We're told go to school, get an education, get a degree and get a job. And today we're saying be open to entrepreneurship, right? Because just as we were open and excited for somebody to tell us how much they were willing to pay us, for someone to tell us which degree to get in school so that we can be told what to do, right? For us to get so excited about two weeks of vacation time. I remember when that two weeks turned into four weeks and guess what, y'all? It still wasn't enough because many times over people say, oh, I make good money. But how many of y'all know that money is only good when you can get it, meaning when you are employed and when you are rejected, you are instantly wishing you had done something different, right? So here's an opportunity where you get a chance to design your ideal life. See, I was one of those corporate professionals that didn't have her nose up in the air saying, been there, done that. I already earned six figures. It wasn't my six figures to earn because on March 31st, 2016, my corporate job sent me a text message, Ms. Oh. Watkins Mukes. They, they sent me a text message early in the morning right? And said, meet us in your office with all of your, your corporate toys is what I call them. The keys, the phone, the laptop, all the things. And my response was, well, is it my last day? Do you know that HR manager didn't even have enough respect to respond? Yes. No. She was until I got there to say, unfortunately, today is your last day, but it wasn't a sad day because I designed my life. Y'all, that day that I was laid off, this business paid me twice. So I knew that I was already positioned for what I couldn't see coming. And so that has led me to the real freedom, the freedom of being able to travel more times than I truly can even count for anyways, right? Retired my husband eight years early, homeschool my children, truly living life on my own terms. So now I didn't have to sit in front of someone else reading my piece of paper. We called it a resume, right? I didn't have to sit in front of a stranger who I didn't even know was qualified to interview me. I'm going deep today, Miss Mutes, right? Do it. We don't even know if these people are qualified to interview us, to approve us, to earn their pennies. But here we're able to not just do it for ourselves, but I'm so grateful to you and your leadership because you told me before I lost that job, Quinn, you can make a lot of money here. And I got excited. You told me about the unlimited income opportunity and you kept reminding me through this journey, this isn't corporate. 
This isn't corporate. There aren't any limits. We could build a strong network. And y'all, that's what wealthy people do. See, poor and middle-class people keep secrets and they compete. Wealthy people get together with other successful wealthy people, which is what led us to this webinar today. Ms. Muk says, you know what? We need to talk to those corporate professionals that's used to running the show, just not their own show. We need to talk to those corporate leaders that lead businesses. And now let's show them how to lead the real business. Back to you, coach. Because we made them millions. We were just talking about that. We made them millions. And what if, like you said, when they pay us crumbs, because even if you're making 50 to 100,000, that's a crumb on a million. So Director Bush, that was the thing. You and I made them. How many of you, but put it in the chat, know you made your corporation millions of dollars with your service? And I had a lady, I was just looking at the chat, Director Bush. She said they laid 900 people off on a Zoom. Can you imagine that? How insensitive is that? And so we made them millions, Director Bush. So mm -hmm. building a powerful network. Anybody want to know some wealth principles today? Put in the chat, teach me. Teach me. going to be taught. Mr. Donald Bradley, who is our founder and CEO, who coaches both of us, has said to us, Listen, there are wealth principles, but you need to understand it's building a network. You got to build a team in order to live your dream. When we work for a corporation, we're a part of somebody's team. And the somebody is the CEO, the owner, the shareholders, whoever, but we're part of that team. How about you build your own team? Because when we were fired, we didn't get any say over that team, but now we get a say over this team. And so this company was created by our founder and CEO, Donald Bradley. And it's a travel-based concept. This is a travel-based business. And it's not about the beach. It's not just about laying out on the beaches of Jamaica. Guys, this is bigger than Jamaica, Hawaii, Bora Bora, and Bali. This is, we're talking today about entrepreneurship. We want you to put your entrepreneurship hat on. Yes, keep your beach towel close to you. But this is not about laying out on the beach. We're talking specifically today to corporate-minded individuals who can see a bigger picture. Leanne Treckler, Andy Coffin, the leadership team is stellar. We have never missed a check. We've never been late on a check. We've never had to search for our money. In fact, it's been early. And, pay, and they paid out over $200 million. Can you imagine right now the two of us represent over $800,000 yearly in income, just the two of us on the Zoom. And this company pays that out over 20 countries. So I want somebody to put in the chat unlimited income because every time travel is booked, let's dive into James Ferrara because he's he's a missing link. James Ferrara and IntelliTravel, this gentleman is the president and uh, founding member of IntelliTravel. They've been around for 30 years. And Director Bush, you, what I love is you have an analytical mind. You are a person who does your research. So where are the people all, that love research? You want to talk to this lady. They've been around for 30 years, licensed and bonded. We've now booked 3 billion in travel. And the strongest form of advertisement is word of mouth. And that's where Planet Marketing and IntelliTravel, that partnership has made billions of dollars in travel sales. So talk a little bit about that because you are a master at research. Absolutely. When I saw this, I was like, wow, you could be a travel agent without going to school, get your accreditations and certifications. But why I got even more excited is not just that we could do business in travel, but we could sell the business of travel. So I appreciate it and tell a travel welcoming that partnership with Planet Marketing, you guys. Thanks to Planet Marketing reps and those of us who are taking it serious, helping to position people. Guys, we've grown in Teletravel to be the largest host agency in the world with well over 119,000 agents worldwide. So when people are out there wondering, you know, which host agency should I be with? Get with the first one, right? And Teletravel were the first to allow average people like you and I to start home-based travel agencies without going to school. You're talking about Better Business Bureau rating already. So you're stepping into a reputation which helped us to catapult our success. 
right? So you'll hear stories in our company where like Miss Watkins, she had, man, hundreds of people on her team just within the first 40 days of this opportunity. Why? Because IntelliTribal already had that reputation and we're getting awards and recognition. So Miss Watkins, sometimes people say, well, I never heard of IntelliTribal, but have you heard of Norwegian? Have you heard of Carnival Cruise? Have you heard of uh, Sandals and these big corporations? We're booking the most travel with them. Therefore, guys, we get that Magellan Award every year, which is the amazing, I would say like the Grammys of travel. So our travel product is game over. And you always say travel is not on trial. Drop a one in the chat if you've ever booked your own travel. I don't care if it was a road trip, if you're in Houston and it hurt and it was a hurricane to turn the lights out, right? You need a staycation. What about family reunion? Whatever it may be, hotel, car, rental car, cruise, all those things, flights. Y'all, these websites are getting paid. And you know, Miss Mukes, commissions are built inside of them already. And most of us do the work. Y'all was doing the work for years, never needed training for Expedia. Never needed to be trained. So understand, don't overthink this. Yes, I'm analytical, but I don't overthink things that make sense. I was already booking travel for years. So yes, I'm open to that 70 to 80% of the commission already going to Expedia before I made this my business. Now you're opening the door for that income to come to you. Full-fledged at anywhere agency. Right. So even while working your jobs, you could build this business. But guys, this is amazing. We're partnered with every major supplier. You can negotiate rates, set up payment plans. You are open to all the possibilities in travel. Have fun. Be creative. Get the check. Miss Watkins, I love when you break this slide down for us, too. It's a turnkey business. How important is that? It is because you don't want to have to reinvent the wheel. You don't want to have to go out there and create marketing campaigns. You don't want to have to go out there and, and do all that. Everybody gets a website like Oprah Winfrey says, you get a website, you get a website, you get a website. And so that's what I love. I told Willie when we were looking for our house, I said, we're not going in there doing uh, renovations. And I, I said, I need turnkey. When I walk in, let's start making money. I don't want to, I want to walk in my house and start living. Anybody else want easy? Guys, you got it easy. IntelliTravel has a website that you can just walk in and spot, start booking day one. You don't have to go through all of these accreditations and certifications. You can do that on the back end. But on the front end, you're going to get training on demand. And, and what I love is I like to watch movies on demand. But every time I do, they want, it, they want money. But this on demand training, I want somebody to put free 99 in the chat. Free 99. This Training is free. This is free. And so you get access to major vendors and suppliers around the world. If you like Marriott, do Marriott. If you cruise Carnival, if you cruise Royal, cruise. If you enjoy, you know, being on, you know, Vegas resorts or wherever, guys, you now move from being a consumer to a merchant. So that's it. You can still continue to use the vendors you love, but you're going to go to the other side to the insider perspective and not the outsider perspective. And you also get access to entertainment. People don't know that as travel professionals, we can book the beehive. We can do Usher exclusive. We can even do my favorite group. I'm going to take you back, Director Bush, new edition. And so, <laughs> guys, they're in Vegas. You can book them. And all of those things that we were doing anyway, travel is a trillion-dollar industry. So it is not on trial. It doesn't matter who... Uh, it is. Somebody is traveling. Travel, like you said, is an evacuation term. We travel for work. How many times were you and I living out of a suitcase, mm -hmm. going to different cities for our company and corporation, away from our families, away from our homes, because of travel? And so who's fueling the industry? Baby boomers. They're retiring every 20 seconds for the next 20 years. And millennials, you have a millennial. These millennials, I don't know where they're getting the money, but they are gone. And even Generation Z, they're figuring out how to travel and work at the same time. They're smart. When we were traveling for work, we didn't fly in a day ahead like these Gen Z. So if you are a millennial Gen Z, put your generation in the chat. I represent Generation X. Uh, Director Bush, I believe she's on the millennial side. She just squeezed on in there uh, at, at the millennial side. Oh, no, no, no. You have a Gen Z, not a millennial, correct? Right. I was I was going to let you make it on that. 
<laughs> no, I have to give you credit. You are still a millennial. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to be a hater. I'm going to be a congratulator. But guys, represent Gen X because guys, everybody is traveling. And so that's what I love. It crosses demographics and everybody can get money. If I were doing, and not to shade other home-based businesses, but certain home-based businesses are geared to women. Certain home-based businesses are geared to a certain demographic. It may be weight loss. It may be anti-aging. Listen, if it says anti-aging, I'm buying it, okay? But my husband, all he's doing is putting Vaseline on his face. So I love that this product goes across all demographical uh, areas and we can make money on every single client. Mm -hmm. So the cell phone, talk about the easiness of this business. We don't have to go get special equipment. We all have one of these. Absolutely. There are people that have been on my team for years that still don't own a laptop. And y'all, let's just make it plain. We get paid on what people are doing anyway, right? That transaction that just happened on that cell phone, we're familiar with that. I have kids that are in sports. Um, all my children, my son played division one college football. My youngest son, he's a select football player. My daughter is a competitive cheerleading. How many of y'all travel for those extracurricular activities and you have to stay to play or you need to travel, get that room, that flight anyway. But I want y'all to really think like an entrepreneur, like Ms. JP said, put that entrepreneurship hat on. How many of y'all have ever traveled for a funeral? People travel for business education, training, people travel for weight loss surgeries now, right? Dental tourism is on the rise. So there are many reasons that people travel and you already know someone who's traveling um, or they want to travel and they don't have the time or the money. And so let's talk about the money. You know, let's talk about those frequent business travelers. See, when I started this business, I was a business traveler. I traveled 80% of my time in corporate America. I was given a company credit card. Any of y'all can relate to that? My company didn't care where I booked that travel. So when I started this business, I started booking that travel through me. And they were going to have to get that receipt for the expense report anyway, but I was earning the commission. So think about that. This frequent business traveler, no matter if it's you or someone else, can go on your site, book that travel three times a month, saying three nights, and you'll earn on average $151 in commission. I want you guys to think about the golf trip. How many of y'all know golfers, but you don't necessarily play golf? Yeah, that's me. Remember, this is your business. So, and and y'all, again, don't overthink this because clients know where they want to go. They know how much money they want to spend. They know when they want to travel, who they want to travel with. So they give you all that information. And it's a five-day group of four Scottsdale, Arizona golf trip. You take you less than 30 minutes to put this trip together and you could generate a commission of $274. What about honeymoons? All over social media, people promoting those pictures. Miss JP Watkins, they're like, oh, I said I do. I said yes to the dress. You get in that DM and you congratulate them. And guys, you could put this seven day honeymoon together, all inclusive resort in Cancun with Butler service, earn a commission of $561. I booked my son's destination wedding and simultaneously at the same time booked the honeymoon. How about that, y'all? Game changer. And look at this. Now this, I know y'all like, oh, okay, that's a little chump change over there. Well, this mortgage money right here. This rent money for some of you guys. Five-day group cruise. Let's say it take you a couple hours to plan 20 cabins and book them for a Western Caribbean family reunion, and it doesn't even have to be your family. And now you're looking at an average commission of $2,200. And on cruises, y'all, every eight to 12 cabins that you sell, you get a free cabin. You can be incognito on that cruise with your clients getting paid and traveling for free. Someone should drop some fire in the chat. And you know, Miss Mukes, we get to have fun learning and earning. What does that look like for us in this industry? Absolutely. Our business looks like other people's vacations. And so people think we're on vacation, we're working. And I love it because everything you just went over, those examples, we like to call it pillow money. Somebody put in the chat pillow money because you've given somebody your dot com or you've coordinated it, it, it's up to you. But just think about if you were doing something else, you're still working on your job or your sleep or you're doing whatever and they go to your website, they're booking, you can get paid. So some of it we coordinate, 
Some of it people do on the website. That's just up to you. But in addition to that, I love learning. And many of you as well. You can learn as much as you want to in the travel space. There are no quotas. There's no um, deadlines. You can learn this at your pace. I have people like yourself who've been in business with me for eight years, going on nine years. And some of them, um, they may learn something once a year. Some of them may learn something once a week. Um, but we have dream makers where IntelliTravel offers training, in-person training. The majority of our training, what I love, uh, Director Bush, is modules online, on demand. It's pre-recorded. You go to IntelliTravel. When you get time, you do it. But some of it is live. Vacation Builder, Travel Genius. And my mom, who's a baby boomer, re registered nurse, she's an ambassador. Ambassadors take all the training and they go to the next level where they're official trainers for IntelliTravel. But we have individuals like uh, Rhonda Coleman on my team. 300 certification. So if you like Disney, get certified Disney. I have a young lady on my team. She loves to do Rocky Mountain wine tour on the, on the train. And she specializes Rocky Mountain train wine tours. It's sexy. That's what she wants to do. She doesn't want to book you to Dubai. She doesn't want to do your Greek uh, flying dress. So whatever you like, you can specialize in those areas. Isn't that amazing, Director Bush? It's amazing. I love it. I love it. We also have IntelliTrips, y'all. These trips are literally pennies on a dollar. It's your on-the-job training. So imagine those free certifications, unlimited she uh, certifications, excuse me, that she just shared with you. What if you did a wellness travel certification free? Just education and information to help you help these affluent, educated, well-traveled uh, relaxers, right? But you first go to Negril, Jamaica after getting that training for four days, three nights, all inclusive, adults only. That may leave all the kids at home and you pay only $499 per person, taxes and fees included. That's the insider access Director Mukes was talking about. And what about this Punta Cana Luxury Travel Advisor Certification? This is powerful. This is so powerful. Why? Because how many of you want to promote to luxury travelers who have a big budget so you'll earn a big commission? But how about you go sample Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, four days, three nights, five star. That means butler service, all inclusive. Don't worry about anything. And you pay only $720 per person. Y'all, I've gone on this trip. I priced this trip. And this trip was over $4,000 alone. So this was a big, big deal, you know. Um, and we have some guarantees because we know there are some skeptical people on the line. There are always skeptical people. Society prepared you to be real skeptical for everything except the job, all right? But here in this business, we guarantee some success for you. Best travel price guarantee you get to meet or beat competitor pricing. And if not, you can offer your client 110% of the difference. So you don't have to worry about if these public sites are going to beat you out because really they can't anyway. Their commissions are built inside the pricing just like ours. But then what about those of you that just really want to try this out? You could do that for 30 days. And if it's not what you thought it was for you, you can cancel and get your money back. No questions asked. But yeah, let's understand that this is a business, right? Uh, Director Mukes, you always talk about, hey, wait a minute. Your job have a 90 day probation period. So why would you quit after 30 days? What about our unique profit guarantee? It states if you stay in this business for 12 months, if you haven't earned more or saved more than you've invested, guess what? IntelliTravel will refund you the difference and let you keep your business. Y'all, that's why we are highly rated on the Better Business Bureau because we guarantee our product. Now, here is my favorite part of this opportunity. Both of us would have had to go back to corporate America had it not been for this compensation plan that we're getting ready to share with you. Sure, some people will see the, the travel side of this business, but guess what, y'all? This is where you unlock those three freedoms. This is where you unlock the financial freedom, the uh, 
time freedom and the personal freedom. This is the income that saved me from ever having to update another resume. This is the side of the business that doubled my income in record time. It took me, Director Mukes, eight years in my career to earn six figures. It took me a year and a half to do that here. And it took you an even shorter time. So I'm going to turn it back over to you. Well, because I never made six figures. I was so happy. <laughs> and the reason it took me six months is because I was so happy. No one ever said I was good enough for six figures on my corporate job. And so that's why we're doing this corporate webinar, because we understand that if you were paid a high corporate salary, you already possess a certain level of skills. They pay you because you're worth 10 times your salary. Whatever you're making, you're worth 10 times. So if you're talking about 50,000, I was already worth half a million. And I know I'm a millionaire. I'm just now walking it out. And it's because of this side of the business. It's not, listen, we know that we're going to attract the masses with making money and saving money on travel. But I need somebody to put in the chat, it's bigger. It's bigger. Now we're talking to the corporate head that figure out ways to make money for your corporation. Now we're putting it in your lap. You did all that making money for them. Now I'm gonna show you how to make money for you. I only needed to see this one time to get it because now you tell me make money and save money on travel, that's easy. But now I get to empower a whole army. Now you tell me I can build my own network, my own empire, my own team. Where can we do that, Director Bush? Nowhere. And so here, if I empower one person, I already know my mom was the booker. She was the travel booker for the family. Mom, give me your credit card. She said, for what? I said, because you're going to join this business. You do this for free. She gave me her credit card and she now books. Of course, she's still doing what she did anyway, but she actually has a team of 500 and she's 71 years old. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that that 50% referral bonus is nice. Director Bush, very humble, modest, but this young lady has empowered 500 families all by herself that are active in business. So by her empowering 500 people, the person that, that brought her in would have made a 50% match. If she made $1,000 for the week, they're going to send a check to her sponsor for 500. If she made 500 for the week, which is normal for her, it's well over that, but I ain't gonna tell y'all her business. They're gonna send her sponsor 250. Can you imagine every single Friday just getting 250 dollars, 500, 300, and you're like, go Levanda, go, because that's the 50% match. But let me tell you where I get fired up is this $10 bill. I did not understand it until I got in the business, and I said $10. Now I get a $10 bill over my entire team, six levels deep. So that $10 bill pays me a comma check weekly because people are empowering people all over the world. Do you understand that that $10 pays me anywhere from three to $6,000 a week on just people, it's not stuff I'm doing. It's what the team does. So leverage income is a different lesson than linear income. Linear income in corporate America is where we show up, we get paid. And, and that's it. But leverage means you get paid off the time and talent of other people. So Director Bush, I want somebody to put in the chat, build it. Can, yeah. can I just add one thing? Because this literally just came to me. So in corporate, I actually managed teams. And as a team, we were given performance budgets, right? And based on what the team did, not just me, but the team I would get a quarterly bonus. Y'all, I got fired up for this weekly income because it didn't just make me miss out on a bonus if the team didn't hit a budget, but I could go out and get my money, right? I'm being rewarded on what the team do, no matter if it's a little bit or a lot. And then overall, so I really want the corporate people that are here on this line where you manage and you get those performance bonuses that we would get so excited about that would come quarterly. And now imagine being able to unlock that in a weekly income. Isn't that powerful, uh, Director Mukes? Because we are so limited and I remember being excited about those quarterly bonuses, but I do get excited about the Builders Program as well. Back to you, Coach. 
but the bonuses in my corporation, they would always seem to justify it wasn't in the budget. <laughs> you know, it was always, well, the budget, the bu and we never got those bonuses. It, or it was like we were holding our breath, crossing our fingers, but here we control it. Put in the chat, I control it. And so if you want to build a team, you don't, you can't, you, if you don't want to, listen, you may not have the corporate ambition that me and Director Bush do. You may just say, okay, I travel. Let me make money and save money on that. But this webinar is specifically geared to that person in corporate America that has a corporate talent. You have a talent. You possess a skill set like we did to build. I was a corporate trainer in property management. So I trained everybody. Now all I do is train people how to make money and save money on travel. It's called transferable skills. And so my team grew from, I've only brought in 40 to 50 people. So you, you honey, you done outshine me a whole big, <laughs> but I empowered those 50 people that empowered 16,000. Cause Cindy Brueggemann has 8,000 of her own. In under the, you have 2,600. Keanu Gregory has 1,900 of her own. Stephanie Cloutier has 3,400 of her own. So I have a lot of four stars that have teams close to 2,000 and above. It's really about empowering others. And that's what I people don't want people to miss because in our corporate job, we're training people, we're helping people, and they don't pay us extra to train people. They don't pay us extra to empower others. We do that. We're told, train Bob, train, train Judy, train, you know, and we're just told to do it and we do it. But here you get paid for empowering others, training your team, and you get to match their travel. I almost fell out yesterday when you told me <laughs> that you had a travel override of $5,000 for the month. And I said, override? That's not even travel that Director Bush booked. She got 5,000 in overrides, y'all, from travel other people book. See, this is why she likes to empower others because she know when they're booking, she's going to get 10% override because she's the gold builder. But let's also talk about that residual income because we got residual bills. Director Bush, this is why I joined the business because my corporate mind could see the vision. I saw the light. $4.00. For every active travel agent on my team who falls in my matrix, Director Bush, we know we built teams for corporate America. And now you tell me I get a $4 bill for this three by nine matrix. So if your team, again, is three, you made $12 residually. Director Bush, this, this right here pays really our bills because we're talking about 100 people, $400 residually, 1,000 people. My goal, I said, okay, y'all fired me. I'm going to build a team of 1,000. Because if I build a team of 1,000, that's 4,000 a month. I don't have to go back to work. But here's what I didn't anticipate. The 1,000 people had goals of their own. So when you're talking about 16,000 people and that goal builder, you unlock every level, there's $118,000 a month on the table. Director Bush, I just want you to touch on that. Because people are worried about making money and saving money on travel. We're looking at this $4 bill. Oof, I love the business of travel, period. And, you know, you said your goal was to get a thousand people. My goal was for my residual income to auto pay all my bills. And guess what? There's a whole lot left over after this check hit every 10th of the month. So guys, y'all got to understand that this is the income. So we're used to paying those bills. This is how you helped me get excited about $4. Because realistically, I didn't get excited about $4 because I didn't understand residual income. I'm like, that's two tacos at Taco Bell. What? Right? But I was thinking about me as one person not knowing that that would grow. And in fact, um, in 48 days, I had 100 people on my team not fully understanding this. I did understand that I was going to have residual bills anyway. So why not go ahead and build that residual income? And so you guys understand that those bills are coming no matter if you're working or not, no matter if you're sick or not, no matter if you're dead or alive. Now position yourself to be on the receiving end of that. Both of us lost our fathers, right? Both of us. And because of residual income, 
we didn't have to worry about taking bereavement time, missing a check because this check was coming anyway. I like to put things into perspective. She told y'all I'm a thinker, right? So I saw that early. I said, well, what if I help three people and those three help three? And then those three help three, that's 27. And those three help three, that's 81. Then those three, but you helped 50 and it grew to 16,000. I didn't even see that big, right? So y'all understand that this is a compensation plan for the people that truly loves helping and empowering other people. And I love it because you get to write the check. Every year we had what was called an annual review. And every year in my corporate position, I would be like, please let them give me an extra dollar, 50 cent, a dime. Can you give me any kind of raise? And I used to pray that at the annual review, we would get that increase. But guess who decides if you're promoted over here? I want somebody to put in the chat, I do. Because if you want to raise over here, you have one to nine stars to decide to give yourself a raise monthly. This is not an annual raise. This is a monthly raise, every single month. So at One Star Director, if you choose to build a team of 100, every first of the month, you see a $500 bonus. But you know what, Director Bush, that wasn't good enough for me. Because I said, why not grow the team to 300 so I can get 1,000? And I didn't want to stop there. At three star, that bonus is 2,000. I didn't want to stop there. At five, at four star, you get a $5,000 bonus just to kick off your month in addition to your travel commissions, in addition to who you weekly recruited, in addition to the $4 bills, you wake up to an additional $5,000 just for being a four-star director. But I know for a fact that's not good enough for you. And you are on your five-star run. Why? Because they will increase director LaVonda Thornton Bush bonus to $10,000. Mm -hmm. And you get... Now, I, I will say that it's, it's good. It's cute. I made, I was five star for five years and that was stable income, 10,000 and a bonus. But last month, I am so grateful that I just hit six star because I increased my bonus from 10,000 to 16,000 to kick off every single month. So in my eyes, I left 6,000 on the table every year. But now I'm looking forward because I see how I can make 30000 in one bonus. That's some people's salary. And that's one bonus to kick off. But why settle for thirty when it's 100000 in a bonus on the table? Director Bush, the thing about corporate America that we're on the Zoom screaming about today is do not limit yourself. So many times they say, this is what we're offering. This is the salary. When we talk about these bonuses, we're saying take the limits off. You can make as much as you want. Director Bush, these bonuses, wh which one are you trying to get? Nine star. Why would I settle for anything less than that? You talked about performance, bon uh, performance reviews, evaluations, and that make me itch. Because why are we talking about the work I already did? You know how well I've been working because if I wasn't doing my job, you would have fired me. I remember my first year in my career, I called my mom. I was like, why are they evaluating the work I already did? Just give me my check, right? Why are we, why do I have to rate myself? But because they try to nitpick, they nitpick it so that they justify not giving you a raise. So they justify not paying you. While Meanwhile, everyone that walked through that door you asked me to train them so you could duplicate me in your company. And now we're showing you guys a compensation plan, a bonus check that is going to give you a monthly bonus to duplicate yourself. So that's a powerful part about this leadership program. I was earning six figures working a corporate job when I saw this. I saw that 100 I said, wait a minute, I can get uh, 10 people and help those 10 get 10, that's 100? Oh, wait, what if they're not that ambitious that fast? Let me go get 20 and help them get five and they can grow. I didn't know it, would, it was 32 for me that grew to 100. And as she said, other people were ambitious. So we became two star by those people helping people and people getting fired up last year. Director Mukes, I decided to double my income. It was a decision I made in January. By April of last year, I went from three star to four star. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to wait uh, at the end of the year. We used to have performance evaluations before or in November. 
before Christmas bonus, before the end of the year, all of that, right? So you're anxious, your nerves bad, you don't know what's going on. They're going to give you that evaluation and then they're taking off the rest of the year for the holidays. But I was able to rank advance. You rank advance in the middle of the year. You didn't have to ask if it were okay to earn that extra $6,000 in a bonus. Now, I had a conference call with me. Me? Hmm? Do we want to rank up? Yeah. I approve. Let's rank up. And then you ran us. And we were all excited because how many of you guys get excited when people do better than you? Yes. How many of you enjoy, you know, I, we were excited for you to go six star because you opened up our eyes and made it true for us pave the way we're on our way and yes. that's what we're we're here to really talk about because in corporate you lose your job if you come too close to someone else's position you right. get it before you they get, get right, right. They, there are people director bush the reality of your situation is when you have a brain in corporate america many times you have a target on your back there is intimidation for intelligence there are people who don't like your intelligence and they're intimidated by that and they will pick on you. And many times in my corporate position, I was being picked on my mom's bed because and I thought she was saying that because she was my mom. But the reality is, Director Bush, people have to put you in your place and they have to dumb you down, water you down because then they look bad. Right here. I want to see you flourish. I want you to go around me because you're more savvy. You're younger. You have creativity. I want Director Bush. I'm, I'm like, go girl, go. She is a master at social media. She's a master at online. I don't know how to log in good. And so one day, Director Bush came to my house, y'all, I cooked for her. I said, teach me social media. She was five minutes in front of the computer. I said, girl, get that computer and go on. And so I want you to know, you don't have to be technically sav technical, have technical savviness. I want you to go to the next slide because you can make six figures like me, somebody who is belly to belly. I like to have conversations. I'm a little old school. So you can use old school, you can use new school, or you can use both. There are four rings available. You can make six figures, quarter of a million, half a million, a million, if you are ambitious, like we are, and you are going to get recognized. And our corporate job, who is giving us rings? Who was giving us watches? Nobody, unless we were retired. And then you get an old gold, excuse me, 10 watch. It's, I don't even know if it's real gold plated. But when I hit five stars, so this is your next gift, Director Bush. When you hit five star and you're a moment, they give you a diamond encrusted Rolex. And there are four rings, I have three. And I'm moments from the fourth ring. But Director Bush, I know you're excited because you want to put rings on other people. You want to help and bless other people. And it is unlimited income on the table. So we got a ring program and I know you're looking to get all four rings. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm looking to get those rings. And these are, it's real jewelry, you guys. Um, but more importantly, it's what they signify for us. You are a multi six figure earner. Director Mukes, you're you're on your way to being a millionaire. These types of incomes and or salaries or whatever, when people say I earn, I want um I had a lady to tell me that she says I would do that, but you know, I just need stable income. You want to stay at earning that 80,000, that stable income, that stuck income, or do you want to unlock unlimited income? But it's right? because true. Is stable true? Because where is job security? Is that a thing? Is it really a such thing? Because you and I, people who say stable income, as soon as they have budget cuts, it becomes unstable. We're celebrating nine years in this business and our income has not been stable. It's been hey, growing. I'm about my to income has I'll, I'll be back. I'm going to run around the house. Okay. <laughs> Give me unstable income. Unstable. Give me the unstable. I, I don't want to stay stuck. I And, you know, we grew through the pandemic in the travel industry. Why? Because we didn't settle for a travel job. We went for travel entrepreneurship. There were people that had travel jobs that came over here to this business. And what I love is that 
every month. I went through my income statements every month since November of 2015, my income has grown. In corporate, we had to wait for that annual review to grow a little bit. We're talking about you're skipping levels. There are some people incomes who have grown by over a hundred thousand in a year. I'm some people, right? <laughs> I had a hundred thousand dollar a year pay raise. Corporate would have never done that. Never. 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 And and we're not bashing jobs, but y'all, we want to show you this is no, this is a wake up call. This, this, is, this, this is a little off the chain. This is a wake up call because, and we're not trying to be nice today. We are saying you bring a skill set. They're paying you top dollar and you can do it for you. Mr. Bradley said, Ms. Watkins, you're talented. He said, you're not monetizing your gift. And I listened to him and I said, wow, nobody's ever said that to me. You're not monetizing your gift. Guys, I know you got something to bring the world. And are you monetizing it to your highest level of potential? That's what you got to ask yourself. And we, and this is a disclosure statement. Um, we've had these for eight years showing what are people earning. But I'm going to be honest with you. When I got into this business, I didn't ask, well, what are people earning? Because there were no evidence of checks. I, I didn't ask, well, who's making money? And all I know was the comp plan paid. And I said, if you're going to pay me what this comp plan says, I'm in. So we have, you don't need faith right now. Director Bush and I, we've been doing this close to nine years. If we were scheming, scamming, pyramid, they would have shut us down nine months into it. We are nine years old. And we actually get uh, write-off capabilities from a lot of the travel, the business we're doing. This just makes sense. But I want you guys to understand how big it is. I want you to go to the next slide because this is about legacy. Somebody put in the chat legacy. Because the quarter of a million dollars Director Bush um, earned this young lady, in the event of her transaction passing, her moving on, and like she said, both of us lost our fathers. My father um, last October, and you just lost your dad last month, I believe it was. Was it? Uh, May. It was in May. Mm -hmm. This young, so this is still fresh to us. But one of the things that they left us was our drive, our ambition. We talk about our dads all the time, instilling in us drive, ambition, uh, you know, that, that fire that we have in us. But one of the things, neither of our dads were rich. They didn't leave us, you know, a boatload of money like Mr. Rockefeller, like, uh, you know, Mr. Hilton, Mr. Marriott, Mr. Ford or Bugatti. They didn't, but I love the fact that we, Director Bush, are changing generational curses of poverty in our bloodline we didn't come from money, but now money comes from us because we are writing checks. We are shot callers. We are the, the, the change. We're the generation that's doing it. We're changing classes. And I'm not talking about going in the door of a, I'm talking about class systems. We're going from lower to middle class to upper class. To, and we're on our way to uber rich, to, to the 1%. And guess what? Even though we pass away, because we come and we get to leave that money. Can you imagine going to upper class, coming from lower class to upper class? And then when you go, the money dries up, but the money doesn't stop. What corporate job? If I passed away on my corporate job, they would walk over my body and tell my, my, my family, God bless you. And they would have posted my job that day. No more than 24 hours. They would have posted so when people say I'm loyal to my job, are they loyal to you? And if you pass away, are they paying your family that check? I already know the answer. It's no. Director Bush. It's a no. I, I had a coworker. She was diagnosed with colon cancer. Three months later, she passed away. And our manager was questioning whether or not they should let us go to her funeral. They already had interviews lined up before the dirt could settle on her grave. Y'all understand that the income that we shared with you is an income just based on the work that you do. So one of the my aha moments with this, when I was introduced to this Planet Pledge, I wasn't yet a six-figure earner in the company. But what helped me to do that quickly is that I understood that when I pass away, that my team would still work. So you mean that even after death, my income will continue to grow? 
y'all, what other opportunities out there are that that are that way? Because even your life insurance check has a stopping point after you leave, that income is gone, then what? Right? Some of our children will not inherit this skill set, but they'll inherit the paycheck. That's powerful. We're talking about now our kids not having to get it out the mud. Director Mukes, there are people bragging about that. If I got it out the mud, my family, my kids, I'm not going to make it easy for them. Shame on you. We're doing things smarter. We're, we're passing on the generational blessings where people talk about breaking the curses. We're passing on blessings. And this is huge. This is, is huge. And, and we're teaching. We're teaching just like you and I were taught. Um, I remember you coming to the table as a new ambitious network marketer. And we went to Papa Do's together. And we had conversations about network marketing. And now I see you training and mentoring and coaching your team of thousands. And I see you, I'm so very proud of your growth and your progress. And now I see the next generation coming up. I see, you know, Kyra and Renelda, and I see uh, Tirsa and so many others that are coming up. Brandon is encouraging people who, you know, this gentleman um, was offered, um, you know, uh, his income for having multiple sclerosis and having MS. He said, I don't want no uh, check from the government. This gentleman is moments away from a six figure income. And he's not letting, he don't want no disability checks. How many people can turn down disability checks? It never happened. But he said, I want unlimited. So you talk, you poured into Brandon and people like that, Director Bush. We have events happening next week. We're on our way to convention. We get a chance to grow and celebrate. But I know you're asking today, how do I start? This sounds good. $200. The price less than your cell phone. Because we all know this costs way more than $200, right? Our college education that we, what, that we got was $50,000, $20,000, $100,000. And we, we paid on those student loans for far too long. $200, we paid the same price, $60 a month. And we have the ability to make a million dollars in a trillion dollar industry. How powerful is that, Director Bush? This is so powerful. I have an 11 and 12 year old at home and they have iPhone 14s when they first came out. So the cost of their cell phones costs way more than this business and they're not generating an income, right? Think about the things that we have paid money for that doesn't yield an income. And finally, we get the joy of investing in ourselves. This is the, the power, right? Because if I made the decision um, not to get started in this business, I would have updated my resume. I would have, you know, gotten dressed and went and impressed a stranger to uh, tell me what I would be valued at, tell me my days to work, my lunch time, continue to tell me if or if not, my vacation time was approved. I would have to prove to them my children were sick with the doctor notes. But because of this $200 investment, not only did I unlock complete time freedom, but you mean financial freedom? Because small minds would say things like, and I've heard this for years, oh, I don't mind the $200. It's that $60 a month. Well, you don't see the value in you being able to earn more than $60 a month. This is not for you. Director that's my Bush, the, the over, Director Bush, the overhead that's being paid on your job, you don't see that either. You don't see the person who's paying the light bill at your job, the phone bill on your job, replacing the toilet paper and the soap in the bathroom on your job. There is overhead for everybody doing business, but it's, that, it's not $60. It is thousands and thousands. We're talking about $60 to do business to maintain your two websites that have access to training and unlimited income. If you had to pay that $60 and not get a profit for the first three years, it'd be worth your time. But people, again, don't, we have been institutionalized to say, you can't be an entrepreneur. Don't you dare believe in yourself. Don't you dare think that you can do it on your own. You need me. Well, today we're screaming from the top of our lungs. You can bet on you. Director Bush, that's all we got today. That's it. It's time to make a decision. And, you know, you could decide to keep doing what you're doing and keep getting what you're getting. 
or you can really decide to take that degree and turn it into the real income and freedom that you thought corporate was going to give to you, right? You can take those skills and talents that you're using to impress that boss, right? To go and impress you and your family and set yourselves up for generations to come. And, you know, I intentionally or we intentionally called the corporate rejects and the corporate um, the corporate rejects and the corporate dropouts for a reason. We wanted to talk to those who are ready to make this type of decision. We're talking to those who are saying, I'm sick and tired of not being paid what I'm worth. You're overworked, underpaid, and overlooked. And underappreciated. And underappreciated. Absolutely. Um, so, so there are three decisions to make, and I'll turn that over to you. It's time to make a decision, and I hope you do bet on you. Um, Director Bush and I had real talk today, hard talk, but that we're in the boardroom. We're not on the beach. Now, we will end the Zoom, and we'll go to the beach. But right now, <laughs> we're in the boardroom. And Director Bush, it has been a privilege and an honor uh, to be on today to share with you, to see your growth, to see how corporate America threw us to the side and thought we were going to sink. But what they didn't understand was we, we not only floated, we had rocket boosters. And so we didn't sink. No, we went through the roof, through the stratosphere. And everybody on this Zoom has wings. You just got to use them. Right now, in where you're, what you're doing, we're not saying quit your job, get inspired, look at the Zoom and turn in your resume. That's not what we're saying. Turn in your uh, 30 days notice or whatever. We're saying... <laughs> Use this as an additional stream of income because like Director Bush, she did not know she'd be fired in four months. When I walked into work April the 4th of 2014, I didn't know I'd be fired, but I did not have a plan B. So we want everybody to have fun. This is a fun-based business. It is travel, but also understand you can get flat out wealthy. Get back with the person who invited you to this Zoom today. Let them know. I'm ready to learn this. I want to learn how to be my own boss, my own CEO. I want to run a travel empire. Mr. Bradley told me, Director Bush, you have entrepreneurial rights. I didn't even know that. Nobody had told me that. But I'm so glad that I understand I have the right to be my own boss. And I have the right to get flat out wealthy. So, Director Bush, thank you. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. And I'll see you at convention. I'll see you at convention.